you so much. So, uh, first of all, I would like to express my high appreciation of being uh, a member of this uh, nice uh, conference, a participant and a member of this panel. Bologna is a nice city. It's more than a nice, it's a beautiful city and the University of Bologna is uh, really inspiring us for so many centuries. Uh, so actually, mm, I, I'm a physicist, let me start with this. And this strategic working group is very new. It was established uh, in September 2017. Uh, so the group uh, is big, uh, 25 group members. Uh, the main idea is really to deal with uh, digital infrastructures and because you heard so many times the, the, the new wave of um, research and this is the big data, uh, so S3 uh, a, as a body decided uh, that it is uh, very timely to organize a strategic group on uh, data computing and digital infrastructure. Uh, but today, uh, we are here to discuss uh, the interaction between different domains, uh, and specifically the interaction between domains like energy, physics, and uh, uh, electronic infrastructure with social science and humanities infrastructure. So, uh, this slide is uh, just to uh, open the floor for, uh, for, for considerations and for th thinking uh, what is uh, the possible interaction, but before we can realize what the interaction is, we should find uh, what are the differences and what are the similarities between the research infrastructures in SSH and um, the uh, research infrastructure in science, technologies, and mathematics. This is all called STM. So what we have at the moment is the development of a research infrastructure that links various local efforts regarding open access in the SSH domain is clearly needed. So uh, that, that was a good start to me because the previous panel uh, discussed very extensively the access to the data. And that is uh, very important and uh, very, how to say, fragile object to think of. Uh, uh, and to us as physicists, usually the data are corresponding to objects which are not humans. Uh, which I'm not saying that we are not sensitive, but the way we think of the data is something that we could easily manipulate, we can put in different models. Uh, so that, that's one point. So uh, the, the, the second line is that the two domains differ because of the languages as well. In, S, in science, technology, and mathematics, English is the the language to talk to each other, I mean, when we would like to express something. It's not the only language, but the, the, the last 20, 30 years is the most used language. And there is one which is already for centuries, and that's mathematics. Which means that uh, even if we do not speak the same, the same human language, I mean, to speak it, we can write some mathematical expressions, and finally, even if we do not know well mathematics, we go to a computer and then we write a program. So, and then in social sciences, there are hundreds of equally valuable languages. So the sources of information are uh, so many, and the way we interpret this information is quite difficult sometimes, and it generates a lot of problems, as we say, lost into, in translation. So, and finally, 
there is something which is in the very close future, and that is that we expect that new communications will emerge very soon. So I, I have a slide which is just uh, something which is uh, taken from 2014, had a survey on infrastructural research facilities. Uh, I, I will uh, just mention that uh, about 200 research infrastructures uh, have been identified at that time in, uh, for cultural heritage. And then you see 100 of those are in the area of languages and linguistics. So uh, the most, the majority of all these um, infrastructures are freely available on the internet. I mean, the access is uh, quite open. Why I need this information? It is just to express my understanding and the, uh, the, the understanding of the people who are in the field of data and digital infrastructures that m those specific infrastructures, I talk about cultural heritage because it's less sensitive, like the, it's not like the social science infrastructure, that they are ready to be used in, in the open science, and as I said here, these are the elements of European Open Science Cloud, the big data usage, usage and interoperability. So you see, there is already a plane where, uh, I mean, hypersurface, I called it, uh, where the, the aims and the results of the different res research infrastructure can meet. So now there is a one um, thing which actually uh, is bothering the people who are coming from the uh, digital infrastructure field is uh, the adoption of these infrastructures by the SSH uh, research infrastructure. Because let me just say in, in two sentences, um, until five years uh, from, it, it, it was the last five years when the people realized that digital infrastructure should not be left to work by themselves only or to be used only for, as a horizontal research infrastructure serving the other infrastructures. So five years ago it was realized that these infrastructures should serve both the technical development and the other infrastructures. And now it's, it's a general problem which we see that there is a barrier between the usage of the well-developed infrastructure. I, I can mention the Barcelona Supercomputer Center, which is something great. They just got the, the most prestigious award of, of Europe as the most beautiful one, because it is not just the, the, the machine there. It's the, the human understanding of, uh, of beauty and how they, they, they should be. So if you've been there, it's amazing. It, yeah. It's something which I, I would like to advocate. That's not my country, but that's excellent. And in fact, this is a demonstration that we humans already found a little path to go to a place where we can share our knowledge and our understanding of what's good and what, what is beautiful. But now that's uh, what uh, is uh, a problem, is that when I talk to the people from social sciences and say, why don't you use the available electronic infrastructures? So usually the answer is that they are too complicated and the people who are in electronic infrastructures are very much self-focused. They would like to, to talk about this and our needs are different. So what is the problem which I would like to say is that many new social science and humanities infrastructures would like to develop their own digital infrastructure. And that's a problem which uh, probably we should uh, look at. So the pragmatic view in the development of uh, the social science and humanities research infrastructure, that's the viewpoint of the people in my group. So uh, we are 25 all over the Europe, 
uh, distributed infrastructure. So uh, what we think is important that um, uh, actually the digital infrastructure can help in enhancing and improving the services offered locally because every one knows that uh, this is not only local usage, it's, it's global. And then global services for certification, resource risk discovery, and multi-party collaboration should be uh, enabled to this research, social science and humanity research infrastructure. And finally, um, we would like to stress that integration with European Open Science Cloud uh, will be a very um, welcome and uh, in some sense, I am not good in cost estimation, in some sense it will be uh, saving money to some of the people. So actually when evaluate the, uh, the research infrastructure from the uh, point of view uh, of people who use it, we have criteria which uh, I would like to somehow separate myself from the yesterday discussion because to me quality and excellence are, they, they have something in common but they do not overlap. Quality is outside driven while excellence is externally driven. So as we say, show me something and I'll tell you if, if it is excellent but quality is judged by the users. So that's something which is demand outside and excellence is inside. If there is no internal need, there will not be excellence. That's why. And finally, innovation. Uh, innovation is just a necessary component of all excellence-focused organizations. So that's... that's and the, 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 the final line of this slide is the impact on disciplines. So that's uh, very important to realize that the new research infrastructure will change uh, very much disciplines. Yeah, that's the final slide. Actually, this is the view of interaction. And that's the interaction which mm, is my understanding. So what is um, in digit goes to art and humanities, it goes to social sciences. In my mind, the social sciences and art and humanities have diver different digital needs. Yeah. So, thanks. Thank you.